Right now, millions of soccer fans have descended on Brazil for the World Cup. The first match between Brazil and Croatia is underway. The U.S. will have to wait until Monday before taking the field against Ghana. There will be 64 matches in all before a champion is crowned. And plenty has changed since Orlando hosted World Cup soccer games 20 years ago. Back then, there was a mountain of interest from international visitors, while local fans were enthusiastic but less than fanatic about the game. But many say this is a soccer city now, and as Watch Tuesday McDaniel shows us, soccer fans who have bought into the sport are being asked to invest in the sport at gatherings all across Central Florida. Soccer continues to gain in popularity, and for a lot of folks, it's a lot more than a sport, it's a lifestyle. And here in the city of Orlando, soccer is certainly beginning to take center stage. First World Cup goal has been scored, and local businesses hope they score with every on field matchup. So we're running food specials, drink specials. We're definitely going to keep everybody uh, lively when they're here while the games are on. Gentlemen, here we go. From the pub at Point Orlando to watch parties downtown, sponsored by our own Orlando City team, World Cup fever is rising. We expect a lot of locals to come out uh, to watch the different games, especially if it's a U.S. game or a game from England or that, you know, the top team. 20 years ago, Orlando was a World Cup host city, but soccer today is much, much bigger. Local player Graham Zusi plays for Team USA, and Orlando City has built a big soccer niche here. Its new stadium is designed. It'll soon join the MLS. Orlando, with the help of this club and the growth of the sport, has really become a soccer town. From special World Cup menu items at Point Orlando, even a frequent watcher program with prizes. Everybody comes in, they get this little scorecard, it has a schedule on it. Uh, you get your stamps. The more you come in, the more you enter to win. The soccer audience is ready. And they've all gone to all these um, water parks and stuff. I mean, I'm going to be in the bar all day, every day. For a month, this is a holiday if you're a huge soccer fan. And so I think you will see a significant economic impact in the Orlando area. The only thing I heard that was even remotely negative is somebody said World Cup soccer only lasts a month. They'd like it to go longer. Reporting in Orlando, Orange County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News.